Hey, Derek. Um, I, first of all, how are you feeling? Was, was there any injury reason for the not being out there in the fourth quarter? And, and then second of all, um, you were there for most of it. How do you assess this season? And what do you think it did kind of for the timeline of this of this team? Oh, yeah. Uh... And uh, I was doing, I mean, yeah, I had some knickknack um, injuries last game. Got hit in the knee and just had to play smart. Uh, tried to give it a go and um, just didn't feel right. So um, Tiff decided not to play me in the fourth. And um, as far as the season, um, I, I can't complain. Um, I, I came to a, a, a winning team. Um, it was a, a great group to play with. They they love playing with one another. Um, great young energy. The the synergy that they built w was unbelievable, um, unreal. And um, it's tough when you lose. You're on Weitzman. Derek, I know we've spoken about Julius a lot this series, but just now that series is over, are you surprised he wasn't able to sort of break through after the regular season he had? Um, what you mean by that? Surprise about what you mean? Is that, yeah. Did you hear me? Um, yeah, that, yeah I, said, I, I said what you mean. Like, he, never got um, a, he never got his rhythm back or never found the shots, you know, after he had a great regular season and struggled the five games here. So. It's all about just adjusting, you know. Um, I told him, and I still do believe in him, um, I'm going to ride with him to the end, just like everybody on the team. Like, he got us here. So uh, it, it's all about adjustment. Uh, having, I mean, making them adjustments during the game and just learning from all of your experiences, you know. Um, next, now, the next time when he's back in the postseason, um, he has a, a foundation to work from. So, uh, if anything, it, it's just a learning experience. Mark Berman. Hey, Derek, don't know when we're going to talk to you again. Um, it was such a a great story for you to be traded here and what you did. What do you think about the future now? With uh, staying here or right. what you mean? Right. Uh, you know how that go, man. That, that's not up to me, um, Mark. That's up to the, the front office. You know, um, they got um, big plans. Um, who knows if I may be back there. I don't, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna let my agent and um, them talk about it, but that it's really not up to me at all. Um, so I'm just leave it like that. But I would love to come back. Who wouldn't want to play for the Knicks or be in New York? Like, I, I would love it. But at the same time, I know that it's out of my hands and they may have bigger plans. Steve Popper. Hey, Derek, speaking, speaking on that, um, You've seen more of this than a lot of these guys. Do you see the pieces here, you know, to start, whether it's Julius, yourself, some of the other guys, the pieces to move forward here and, and, and improve? Of course. Um, I mean, I told you, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to come here is because uh, they had a great a gr a great core. Uh, the guys, they're a young nucleus like that, like with me being in my age, like who wouldn't want to come and um, try to build on top of that? So um, I think so. I think um, it's a lot of people out, um, that's in the league that thinks the same thing. But um, like I said, it's all out of the, the players' hands. It's up to the, the people that's in the front office. Last question, Steph Bondi. Hey, Derek. Um, I saw you talking to Trey after the game. Um, you yeah. Know, he, uh, had a, he had a great series, obviously. The crowd was getting on. What do you think about what he did during this season and how he performed? Oh, it was great. Great basketball. I mean, prior to me even playing um, playing against him in the series, I've been said that um, I've always been um, a fan of his game. Um, I always called him whenever he plays. It's like the new era of point guards where he's small. He has to be crafty. Um, he has to um, – his IQ of the game is very high, and uh, he's a tough load. So um, you have you have to stick him with, with all five, um, especially when um, they plan the way that they're playing. His teammates believe in him, the coaching staff. 
Nate has been he did a great job. Like, man, um everything is just falling into place for Trey over there. But I've always been a fan of uh, fan of his game. Thank you, Dark. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.